Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about doing things you hate. Yeah, exactly, doing things you hate. As one of the best motivators there is out there to really get you, you know, um, to get that fire under your butt really going. All right, and what do I mean by that? Well, basically, one of the best motivators you can have in life to do what you really wanna do so one of the best motivators you can have in life in order to get to you, you know, in order for you to get to do what you really want to do is to start doing things that you hate. And uh, basically right now, let's just say that, let's just say that your job, let's just say that your job right now is basically washing dishes and you would rather be a musician. So basically what, how it works is like this, is like the longer, you, you know, as you're there washing your dishes, as you're there doing that job that you hate, doing what you really, really hate, you're constantly thinking about what you would really, really want to do. What would you rather be doing and all that stuff. And so, you know, when you're there day in and day out washing those dishes, day in, day out working at McDonald's, Walgreens, CVS, wherever the hell you're doing, wherever you're working, and uh, you're constantly um, just, uh, you know, doing this stuff that you hate all the time. And yet, in the back of your mind, you're constantly thinking to yourself, I would rather be doing computer programming. I would rather be doing playing video games. I would rather be, you know, playing music. I would rather, it doesn't matter what it is. The point is, is that all the time that you're not doing that, you're constantly thinking to yourself, wow, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. This really sucks. This is terrible. I'm over this. I don't want to do it. What can I do to get out of this situation? And so you start seeing as, you know, you start um, asking these questions that I'm always telling you, you need to be asking yourself. And so when you're in a comfortable situation, okay, when you are in a job that you don't hate, you just kind of like, you know, deal with it, then it's not the same. The motivation is just not the same. When you are just kind of getting by, you're kind of just comfortable, things are just okay. They're not horrible. They could be worse. Then again, there's that comfortability, you know what I mean? Being comfortable that really, really messes with you. And, um, makes things even more difficult but if all of a sudden you are in a position in life in which you hate a job that you hate a situation that you hate and um, you know that you could be in a better situation specifically again when you answer the same question that I ask you guys all the time right the, the same quote or the same thing that I tell you guys all the time meaning um, why <clears throat> do something why starve doing something you hate when you can starve doing something you love and that's the thing when you're working that job that you hate when you're in that situation that you hate and you just can't take it anymore um, that's the great motivator because it's just a constant reminder of your situation it's a constant reminder of your, your situation and um, the fact that you already have something that you would rather be doing is is an amazing way to again just go out there and eventually do it because eventually as you're working your dead-end job your shit job you know basically what it is um and and uh you know every single week you're literally seeing that no matter how hard you work you're going backwards instead of forward that's when you start really realizing that why am i not doing something that I love instead of doing this that I hate and that's the thing because basically as you guys all know for the most part it's all about that comfortable you know being comfortable <laughs> and um, a lot of us you know what I mean would rather just be comfortable than pursue our dreams so that's why I encourage you guys out there to get out of the, your comfort zone. I'm always telling you guys to get out of your comfort zone. I'm always telling you guys to take it to the next level. How do I, again, it, sometimes it's as simple as just getting another job. You know what I mean? Just, and that job might be worse. And because you have that shit job, all of a sudden, 
you know, that is the encouragement that you need. That is the, you know, that fire under your belly, under your butt, under whatever that you really need in order to get to that next level. And you're never gonna get there. You're never gonna, you know, you're never gonna achieve that. You're never gonna get to that point if you're doing stuff that you love. Or, or, I mean, that stuff that you love. Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted real quick. But yeah, so basically, you know, what's going on is that what happens is, is that like, it's very, very, very hard. It's very, very hard, you know, um, to stay focused when you're constantly being distracted. And so, for example, if you're just in a whatever job, a, you know, just a regular job where it's not horrible, you know, you're constantly being distracted. You know, again, have you seen that show, The Office? Where you're constantly being distracted by bullshit and it doesn't really let you, um, you know, hate your situation bad enough as to where you want to change it. So that's why it's bad. But if all of a sudden you're in a job in which you hate, you know, um, you're with employees, you know, other, um, what is it, other co-workers that you hate, a situation that you hate, the whole thing that you just hate, man, trust me, it's a lot easier, you know, for you to let go of that crappy shit situation, shit jobs, shit everything, because again, the alternative is always gonna be better. And that's the thing. But when you don't have that alternative, that's when things, uh, you know, kind of get more difficult. That's why, you know, the hardest thing for anyone really to do out there is figuring out what is, uh, what is it that you love? For some of you guys, it's fairly easy. A lot of you guys already know what you do. I mean, a lot of you guys already know what you love and already know how to get there and how to achieve that. But for a lot of you guys, you guys still haven't even gotten there yet. All right, so I'm just gonna stand here in the middle of the street. All right, so that way um, it'll give you guys a little bit better of view. So again, guys, see, look, I love what I do. You know, my mom loves what she does. Um, there's plenty of you guys, there's plenty of people out there that love what they do and you guys realize that is actually more important to be doing what you love um, and that that is more valuable than how much money you're bringing in. Some of you guys simply don't wanna do what you love or don't wanna take this extra step from leaving a shit job in a shit position just because you don't wanna make $10,000 less a year. But when you realize, you know, the real importance in life, you know, which is, you know, your life, not a couple thousand dollars more or a couple thousand dollars less. But basically the important things in your life are things like, you know what I mean? Um, the time that you spend doing the things that you do. And so again, what would you rather be doing? Washing dishes day in and day out, washing dishes, washing dishes, doing that kind of thing. Or would you rather, I don't know, make music. I don't know, make videos whatever whatever it is you know what i mean like again i love to talk i love to help people i've figured out a way yeah through a lot of hard work um and a lot of um decisions that i've made but i figured out a way in which i can use this ability to not just talk and not just be friendly and uh, and all the things that i'm really really good at but i'm able to now hone in all these skills to feed me and my wife and my family you know now i live off of helping other people out. I, I live off of uh, making YouTube videos. I live off of uh, editing, you know, movies and, and, and photographs and things like that for other people. I live off of my hobby, off of what I love to do, what I've always wanted to do. And it took me a, a long time to get here and um, there was no real like plan per se, you know what I mean, and how I was gonna get here. But the point is, is that I, I basically, hone in on the fact of uh, what I wanted to do, what I didn't want to do, and then just um, kind of maneuver my way, man, it's really loud, really windy. But anyways, and then just maneuver my way until I got there. Yeah, sorry for all the wind, it's really, really windy today. Um, that global warming stuff, right? But anyways, but the point is, it's just, uh, it's just answering a few simple questions and being 1000% honest with yourself and you can get there. It's, it's really not that hard and putting in a lot of work, a lot of hard work. And uh, before you know it, you're gonna be walking, you know, down the middle of uh, this path here, you know, making videos for other people on YouTube. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, but the point is again, guys, do stuff that you hate. Doing stuff that you hate is such a great motivator because at the very least, you know what you hate. 
and at the and then from there you can start you know at the at, you know um dissecting and start um um what is it like uh going backwards you know um and figuring out exactly what you love out of knowing what you hate you get what i'm saying it's all about knowledge and information and all this stuff so it's setting yourself up correctly and so it's like a working out and doing anything else that's uncomfortable and hard and difficult you know going through this process of uh, putting yourself no one willingly really wants to put themselves in a position that they hate but if you do find yourself in that position then take full advantage of it and honestly i think most people that are watching these videos right now on a regular basis you guys are in a position in life in which you probably hate and you're probably trying to figure out a way to get out of it and fix it and um rectify it and make it better and all that stuff and so you you can't do that it really it's all it's all up to you but sometimes uh you need that little extra push you need that little extra help um that little guidance you know hey i didn't get here here by myself either i used to watch videos i used to watch gary v i used to watch a lot of these uh, you know motivational things all the time even though i'm a motivational guy i'm a very optimistic guy but sometimes we just don't have all the right tools and we don't know exactly what we need to do and that's why i help out in the best way that i can by making these videos in order to help out all you individuals out there that want to know or want a, guy, a blueprint to get from point A to point B. And that's it, man. I'm so sorry. It's really windy today. Very windy today. But you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go inside that OXO. All right. I'm going to go and get me a few things, you know, a few little snacks. All right. And then uh, we're going to finish this on the way back. All right. I'm going to keep uh, talking to you guys about, you know, continuously to do things that you hate. You know, um, a lot of these things that you hate might be things that you have to do on a daily basis, but as you do them and when you do them, you know, you'll be so glad and so proud of yourself that you actually did do them. All right. Sometimes it's just working out. Sometimes it's just taking a walk like I am right now. All right. It's just a simple little things, but you got to start compounding all these things. And then when you compound all of these uh, motivational tactics together, that's how you get to super scion level. Or what have you i don't know i don't watch dragon ball z that was a dragon ball z reference for anyone out there anyways all right guys well look i'm here i'm gonna give me a couple snacks and then uh we're gonna come out the other end and uh keep talking about this stuff all right actually they didn't have the little snack that i wanted here so now i'm gonna go to the other corner store and see if uh they have them there but uh basically i i kind of already knew they weren't gonna have what i want here but i came out here just because i needed to have a you know, I need to do, uh, have a walk, you know what I mean? Uh, so I can record this video and also get out of the house a little bit. After I'm done here, I'm making my way towards Paseo Montejo so I can pick up my wife from work. Yeah, that's right. Again, it's all about the little things, you know, basically. I've, and I've talked to you guys about this before. Um, but one of the things that I like to do is that when she comes home from work on Friday afternoons, um, I like to just pick her up. And, you know, not just on Friday afternoons, but basically every chance that I get when uh, she's uh, the bus stop that's over there so yeah i just go out there and meet her and we walk home together do all that lovey-dovey stuff but it's all about uh it's all about again doing all the little itty bitty things you know basically and again uh, how do i know what to do in order you know for us to have an amazing relationship right now again just from learning from experience you know how did i you know know all this is just because i put myself in you know shitty situations i i was in bad situations i was on on both ends of the stick and it's all about learning or continuing to make the same mistakes over and over again putting yourself in uncomfortable positions putting yourself in bad positions look i would rather sit on my ass at home and not do anything and just wait for uh you know for her to get home but my by me putting myself you know making myself a little uncomfortable and just going out there and uh you know checking you know going out there and getting her and walking together and all this other stuff that really helps <laughs> um you know that 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 basically you know putting in that extra effort and that extra work helps out a lot all right so we're here at the little store let me just go in there real quick and grab my snack and uh see you guys in a second all right guys so i got my snacks all right these are forbidden snacks that christian doesn't like me eating but Hey, you know what? I keep losing weight, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> but anyways, regardless, um, I'm on my way now back home. And we're gonna continue this. So, 
you know, like I was saying, guys, you know, basically it's just you got to do things that you hate. Um, you got to, you know, motivate yourself. Comfortable, but being comfortable is the biggest enemy that you will have. That's just 1,000% true. And so, you know, I've talked about, you know, comfortable mobility. I, I know I cannot say that word. I know. I'm horrible. But, um, but still, I've made plenty of episodes talking about that. You know, talking about the fact that being comfortable, being too comfortable is the killer. You know, um, how comfort is really what kills ambition, what kills motivation, what kills dreams, what kills so many freaking things. So, you know, that's, that's basically, you know, it's funny, like, I'm so passionate and I'm so fucking loud when I'm walking and talking. Like, I can, I can see people like a block away uh, turning as I project my voice, you know? <laughs> So yeah, anyways again be be like me all right be more like me in the sense of like you find something you love so much that I'm basically alone in this world even though everyone's basically looking at me like look at that fucking weirdo look at that guy But that's the thing though, you know, what I mean like a lot of people You know, we're in you know, we're in these positions in these uh, head spaces in these um, Points in our life in which you know, it's not Like that it's not fun. You know what I mean it's basically we're doing so many things that we hate and uh, instead of uh, using that as a um, catalyst, as, as a energy, as a, you know, a fire to really, you know, get you to where you need to be, a lot of, a lot of people misinterpret and misuse that energy, misinterpret and, mi and misuse that energy in a way in which it actually uh, does not help them at all. Um, Again, if you hate what you do, if you're you're hating everything about your life at the moment, or even just a little bit, there's something about your life that you wish could change, use that as motivation. Change it, okay? Change it. Because basically, otherwise, you're just slowly torturing yourself. You're just slowly um, making life worse for yourself. You're slowly, you know, um, sinking into deep depression. You're slowly, you know, I can go on and on. And so that's the thing, the point, to all of this is the fact that you know you again like i keep saying over and over again in all my videos you have the power guys all right you got the total 1000 percent control and power to all of these things so stop wallowing in your sadness stop wallowing in your in your whatever it is if if you hate what you do stop feeling sorry for yourself start changing it okay stop feeling sorry for yourself and start changing your life and um if you are out there and you still do not know what you love you still don't know what you want to do then that's how you learn by trying out constantly trying out different things the more things you try and the more things that you hate or you fail at trying and you just hate and don't don't like the more chances you know the, the you're gonna get eventually to what you love again like it took me a very 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 long time to get to figure out it took me years to figure out that this is what i love and this is what i want to do it really did it was not overnight it did not you know it did not happen you know just like me day one day waking up no 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 it was a lot of trial and error. I did many, many, many things that I hated. And um, I, again, it got to a point where I was extremely frustrated with my life. I was extremely frustrated with so many things because I could not find what I loved. I could not find that thing that everybody finds, or so I think, you know what I mean? I found out that nobody finds these things. But anyways, the point is that like, I could not find that, that thing that I love to do. That thing that you know I could um, you know um, figure you know what I mean that thing like uh, that made me want to wake up in the morning and do what I'm doing right now you know what I mean that one thing that you know every single day I can't wait to just get to work I can't wait to start making start producing start creating it took a while for me to get there you know what I mean everything I did was just another thing and I hated it and I hated it and everything was really shitty and crappy until it wasn't but that's because I did so many things. I did so many things that I hated that it made it so, so much easier as time went on to figure out what I loved. Because again, you know what I mean? I already knew what I didn't want to do. So it was a lot easier for me to figure out what I did want to do. And that's it, you know what I mean? It really wasn't like, uh, 
sorry, sorry, reading on some phone messages, but yeah, it really wasn't that difficult. You know, um, I mean, it, the difficulty came from having patience, from, you know, continuing to do it no matter what, um, and just figuring it out. You know what I mean? That, that, you know, that's the hardest part. That's why I make these videos because it's like, I'm still trying to figure it out. It's still a process. It's still going on and so on and so forth and all this shit. And so, you know, basically, um, you know, by you guys watching my process, it helps you guys with your process. Or so, that's the idea. That's the hope. That's why I do what I do. And that's basically it. So, guys, you know, please do me that favor. Start doing shit that you hate. And if you are doing shit that you hate, then make sure that you start channeling that energy in the right way. Look at this. KFC coupons. I'll leave them here. But anyways. <laughs> So, you know, see, look, you know how I know how to leave that KFC coupon back there? Because I know that I hate KFC. I used to love KFC when I was a kid, back when they were, you know, good, back when KFC was great. But then, you know, now it's all pure processed bull crap. Probably get a better chicken than uh, out of a hungry man. But I've learned, you know, so now I, I see that, I really want it. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me put it back because I already know. This is not going to serve me well. <laughs> One, no, no if ands or buts. This is the truth. But all right, guys, I think that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm hot. I'm tired. All right, I'm just hot. All right, that's it. Um, but I still got to go all the way down Paseo Montejo and uh, not just go pick up my wife, but also record another video. And uh, you can watch that on the other channel today because I'm going to put this video, this other video that I'm going to be recording on my other travel channel today on Monday because today Monday here in Mexico is a very very special day it's a special woman's day and um, if you guys really want to know more about it if you guys are interested <clears throat> go check out my other upload on my other channel the link in the description is going to be in the description of this video and it's also going to be at the end of this video so you guys can check it out we got double duty on Monday two videos for Monday all right guys so thanks you already know the deal check out the other channel check out my website check out you know all the links down at the bottom so you can find me everywhere no matter what no matter where i go no matter what they do to me and uh that's it don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon but more importantly than anything else please stay awesome i love you guys to death and i'll see you guys on the flip side bye there's no doubt in my mind that you are going to kill it and that's what i want to talk about today pp i really want to talk about this Patience and passion. Let's start with passion. There is way too many people in this room right now that are doing stuff they hate. Please stop doing that. There is no reason in 2014 to do shit you hate. None. Promise me you won't. Because you can lose just as much money being happy as hell.